Hi there and welcome to the video. My name's Gareth and today I'm going to show you what I believe to be the simplest and quickest way to get started with Flux AI, whether you're a beginner or a more intermediate or advanced user. Now, if you're not sure what Flux AI is, it's a newly available AI image generation platform by a company called Black Forest Labs. So here I'm on blackforestlabs.ai and you can see it's called Flux, a new era of creation. I'm going to scroll down and see some of the example images that have been created. Now, the reason why I'm absolutely in love with this platform already is from a quality point of view, it's right up there with anything else that's currently available and such as mid journey, in my opinion, it's the, the results just speak for themselves. You can see here, and it's really good with creating text and images as well. It's just, it's fantastic. I'm having a lot of fun with it. But another thing I really like about it is it's got a low barrier to entry in terms of not only skill that you need to get going, but also cost. And I'm going to show you this right now. So if you're a beginner and you've never even generated anything AI before, then stick with it because I'll show you the absolute simplest way to get started and it won't cost you much at all. And if you're a more advanced or uh, professional user, then you'll obviously be able to appreciate all the things I'm going to talk about even more. So this platform has got three different models. So Flux has got three different versions and I'll touch on them very quickly here. But obviously, if you want more information on it and more specifics, go to the website blackforestlabs.ai and you can read more. And it's got one called Pro, Dev and Schnell. So it's basically Pro is, in theory, the highest quality. Um, and it's got the, the most commercial usage available across, you know, the broader sense. So Pro is the one you go for if you, you know, want to have the absolute best of the best. Dev is a sort of middle of the road version, but it's actually a lot closer to Pro. Um, than anything else um, and it gives you in my experience almost as good performance i mean there's really not much visual difference between the top two models pro and dev in my opinion and um, there are some licensing differences which you'll have to look into on your own but basically dev is a really solid version of the model and then schnell which uh, schnell means fast or quick in german i believe is the model that's you know the cheapest to run the quickest and it gives you Pretty good results, but definitely nothing that's going to blow you away. But it still might be fine for your own needs. So now we've sort of got that really rough idea of what we're talking about here. The next step is the most important one, is how do you use it? And this is why I actually love Replicate.com. Now, you can use it on a couple of other different platforms. You can see here there's Hugging Face and there's File.ai. I have experience using Replicate myself in the past, so that's what I'm personally going to recommend just because I have my own experience with it and it's worked really well for me and it's really transparent and it's great. I'm not affiliated or sponsored in any way, it's just the one I'm familiar with. So to make use of this, simply go to replicate.com um, and you'll come to the Replicate website. Now, what this Replicate is, it's just a host for lots of other um, AI services. So like that Flux we're just talking about, we want to use, but there's lots of other stuff on here that you can feel free to explore as well in you know in your own time and see if there's anything else that piques your interest. But if you just want to use this Flux, then come to this platform, replicate.com, you create a free account on it. And as part of that account creation, you um, set up some payment details because you will have to pay for this, but it's incredibly good value and the payment model is, is great as I'll show you in a second. So once you're all set up, um, you just click on the model you want. So Flux Dev, if you can't find it on the screen, you can't see it anyway, you can literally just type in Flux in the search bar and it'll bring up Schnell, Dev and Pro as we saw on the previous website. So I'm just going to use the Dev version, which I recommend for most people to start on because the results are really good and it's a great balance between cost and performance. So you go in and you'll be you'll be hit with this screen. Now, if you've used um, Stable Diffusion before, or you're a little bit more versed in the sort of AI image generation, this is probably not gonna, um, you know, not gonna be anything that will make you um, think twice. But if you're an absolute beginner, all I'm gonna say is you don't have to worry about almost any of this, apart from the first two, first two sections, the only two things you need to concern yourself with. And I'll show you those in a minute, because it's dead simple. But first, I'm gonna go down to the price now, keep scrolling down and it says pricing. And this model is priced by how many images are generated. Now, this is why I love this model so much. So for every image you generate on this particular model, it's going to cost you three cents, three American cents. So 0.03 dollars. 
I'm going to can click this button here that says show how many images I get for a dollar. So you go for 30 images for a dollar and there's no monthly charges. There's no subscriptions, no minimum contracts, anything like that. You only pay for what you use. And that's why I love this so much because you're getting cutting edge technology running on their super, super fast servers that take, you know, takes a lot of processing and you're paying an incredibly small amount of money, I believe, for um, really good images. So let's just start off by prompt. Prompt and aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio is what shape you want your image. So one by one is a square. 16 by nine is like widescreen, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna go by three by two. They don't affect the cost at all. The aspect ratio doesn't matter which one you choose. It's still gonna be the same cost. And then basically just type into the prompt what you want. So I'm gonna put a cute kitten I think uh, a skateboard in the rain. What should we put? Wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Um, a cute kitten running a skateboard in the rain, wearing jeans and a t-shirt. And at the end, you can you can put something like illustration or photograph or you just just something to hint which direction it should go in. So I'm going to put photo reel, and that's just going to make sure that it's more of a photographic image than a, an illustration otherwise it might just pick an illustration don't have to worry about any of these other things at the moment at all just click run and it's then just going to take a few moments to generate the image and while it's doing that i'm just going to talk about the how that how you're invoiced how you're charged for this for this usage so it's going to cost you 30p if we go sorry 30p not 30p three cents and they're thinking in, in you know the wrong terms so it's going to cost you three cents per image we can see it's generated already and uh that is that is really that is really good that's really excellent the quality of this is great but anyway so you're going to get charged on the first of the next month for the previous month's usage i believe so we're in august now so for anything i generate in august i'll get i'll get them charged on the first of september for this month's usage so that's how it will come out and come out of your um, account or whatever, and you set that up when you set your account. There's no subscription, no nothing like that. So once you've got your image, you can just click on it to, and it will download that to your local downloads folder, or you can go down and there's a download button underneath. And you'll see here, it's, it says using seed in this log. And that is just, if you want to generate the exact same image again, you can paste that into this seed box here. And it, if you click generate again, it will generate exactly the same image. Now, um, you can, uh, other uses for that is a bit more advanced. I'm not going to cover them in this video. Um, but what you can play with as well is a number of outputs here. So this is basically going to give you one, which is set to as a default, up to four. So that's how many images are going to generate in one go. So if I change that to four and click run, it's going to take longer because it's obviously got to process four images. And it'll just give you four variants of the same prompt. It's not going to give you four of exactly the same image unless you have got a fixed seed entered. It's always going to give you variants on this prompt. And that will cost you four times whatever the whatever the photo per image price is. So it's going to cost you four times, in this case, three cents. And just bear that in mind. It's you get charged per image, not per how many times you click run. But at three cents an image, you can see why. This is a great opportunity for beginners to try out basically what is the cutting edge of um, AI image creation without having to commit to any kind of expensive monthly subscriptions like Mid Journey, um, which I do use and I do love. But from a cost point of view, um, unless you're running absolutely hundreds of images, then this is just a really good value proposition. And as you can see here, it's got some really great variants on on this image they all look great there's no big problems with any of them 